Hello everyone and welcome back to the X-Ring. So I hope you guys are doing well this week. I am still in Dubai and I'm with some amazing people with an amazing collection of rifles, shotguns, machine guns, you name it. Uh, things that I never thought I would see in my entire lifetime. It's just been crazy. And these guys are huge into 22. They have a huge collection of precision 22s, everything from MPAs to, I mean, you name it, they have it. And so I was, uh, I'm actually out at the range today, today being Tuesday, and we basically just shoot all day. Everything from indoor ranges to outdoor ranges, we've got to shoot in the ocean, uh, shooting out to one kilometer, shooting balloons that are out in the ocean where they're, you've got the wind, they're moving, they're moving up and down, and it's just been an unbelievable experience. And I'll try to get you some videos of that as well. But one of the rifles that I've been really impressed with I've been shooting on shoots and everything else while I've been here, but this is a Sako quad range. I've never heard of this rifle. I know what a Sako is, but I've never heard of the quad or the range. It actually has four interchangeable barrels, so you can get the 22 Magnum, 22 HMR, uh, 22 long rifle, and the other one might be one of the Mach series, I'm not sure. But this is a beautiful rifle with some beautiful wood on it. It does have an adjustable cheek riser and it just feels and looks great. I liked it so much I started looking online and apparently they don't import these into the United States anymore. I guess they did for just a little bit, but this would actually be an unbelievable rifle for PRS competition. I think you would still need to add like an Arca Swiss rail, but they do have the cutouts here for the slots. Um, not for so much for the Arca Swiss rail, but their attachment for hand stops and what, what not. It also has attachments on the left-hand side. So this one's outfitted with just a, a carbon fiber bipod and it does have an Arkin EP5. So what I have seen is a lot of these guys buy the Arkin scopes and they do shoot really well. Now, what I've noticed is because we do have indoor 50 and 100 meter ranges, these are private ranges, these aren't, these aren't open to the public. I'm able to attain some groups that I've never seen before back home because it isn't a controlled environment. It's kind of like getting your rifle tuned over at Capstone where you're able to shoot everything from Ely 10X to Ely Match to Lapua Midas and Cinerex. So I just wanted to review this, this rifle and bring it to you guys. Uh, it does have a 10-shot magazine. And so it's not the end of the world that you could still shoot a match. You just have to do a magazine change because it is... 10 shots. Uh, I'm sure you could make something that would actually work with an extension or something like that. But I did want to show you some close-ups of the rifle. It is a short, what feels like a 60 degree throw. The bolt itself actually has this trapezoidal feel, but it actually, it actually works really, really well. And so I'm going to go ahead and shoot it at 50 yards and I'll shoot it at 100 yards. We'll show you the results down range. And while I'll be able to show you the targets, I'm not going to be able to set a camera downrange because I don't have the I don't have a spare camera to be able to set up down there but I do have um, basically live video that I can move the camera up so that you can see it you just don't won't see me shooting while I'm shooting that target so just here we go the Sako range let's go ahead and shoot it for group. I'm just going to use some Ely match uh, we've got some exact and everything else I uh, just really don't have time to be sorting through different lots and, and whatnot. So what I'm going to do is uh, we'll see if it'll hold a decently tight group at 50 and then we'll check it at 100. Now these are at meters, not at yards. And so let's see here, we'll do a 50 yards. So we'll shoot for groups. Like I said, I don't know. I don't know if it'll be dead on, but we'll shoot for group and I'll just aim for the center. Uh, we will aim for target one, top left corner, 50 meters. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Same hole. Yeah, good. All right, so that's a pretty respectable group at 50 meters. 
So what we'll do is we'll shoot it at 100. I think that's going to be somewhere around, like I said, these are, uh, this is an MOA scope. So let me get the camera down range. Like I said, it's a solid performer at 50. I want to see how it does at 100, uh, and it'll be 100 meters, so 104 yards. Let me go ahead and set up the camera. All right, so I just got, grabbed the camera, and that is the 50 meter all the way at the glass there. All right, so we're going to use the same Ely Match ammo. I've got five shots. I've got the camera down range at 104 yards. We'll see how it does. Like I said, I haven't done any lot testing or anything, but I'll tell you what, I'm very, very impressed with this rifle so far. And if it can hold, you know, that minute standard that we always look for, I think that would be great. Now, that's not going to work. That one didn't feed properly. We're not going to use that one. Let me go ahead and just grab another round just to be safe. All right, there it goes. So we will go for target number two. All right, here we go. Bullseye. Bullseye. Pretty close. Guys, check that out. That is a hundred meter grouping. And I will tell you, since I've been here all week, these guys really know precision rim fires. If you think this rifle's accurate, I had a chance to shoot what he said was his most accurate rifle of all times. And it was a $900 Lithgow Arms. Now you can't get it in the United States. And I wish I would have had the target, but I literally shot one hole, one exact hole. I mean, it measured perfectly like a zero for five shots. And I've been able to see some really cool rifles. I'll grab a couple other ones that we're shooting tonight, but even some of his peep sight guns, uh, just using an aperture, we're actually holding half inch groups at 100 meters. And so it really puts things in perspective when you see that these guys, now we're on a private range here, but these guys spare no expense. Uh, there are digital readouts here, and of course they have tons of different lots of ammo, but we're not even lot testing or anything else. And it is in a controlled environment, but I'm really, really impressed with it. Um, and like I said, I was already on the hunt for one of these, can't get them in the United States anymore. But if you ever run across one of these Seiko quad ranges, you know, I can't guarantee that it's going to shoot like this, but I'm pretty darn impressed. You guys saw that real time, and I don't know if I've got rifles that shoot that accurately. Um, you know, regardless of the best gun builders, I'm seeing some of these European builders that I've never heard of before in my life, some of these Austrian and some of these Swiss 22s that are just incredible. I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, I'm having such a good time here, extending my stay in Dubai. These guys have been super, super uh, you know, helpful on everything. We've been sharing a lot of information, but they have been really, really unbelievable. Just incredible folks, and I'm really honored to be here. Um, it's actually almost midnight, and we're just shooting rimfires. So I hope you guys have a good week. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.